Thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. You're here for one of our fabulous mud tests on a fabulous rifle. This is a one of one. Rick Smith from SMG Guns made this for me many years ago. It is a modernized FG42 chambered in 308. Picatinny rail, shortened barrel, um, AR style pistol grip. And I'm actually sending it back to him to have some work done on this that I want done that I'm commissioning him to do on this gun. And what we thought was we've never done a mud test on this. And I'm really curious about how this is going to work. But I want to remind the audience that this is not representative of Rick Smith's work because this is a weird one-off gun. So do not expect this to be the results you get with one of his fabulous replicas, either the Type 1 or Type 2. The Type 1's coming. But it is an example of an FG42 action, which is a derivative of the Lewis machine gun of World War One. When you cock the gun, oops, put it on safe. When you cock the gun, it's a strange action in which it is kind of like a submachine gun. There's a sear in here, and when you pull the trigger, the actual entire bolt goes into battery and the firing pin is integral. It slams forward as part of the gas system. It's a very interesting gun. Let's go ahead and see how this works, first of all, with just standard ammunition without mud. So, we've got a magazine of 20 rounds. I'm going to fire five of them, and then we're going to mud the gun. So, here we go. No issues whatsoever. This gun has actually been really good to me. Let's go ahead and uh, do something awful and dunk it in the mud. Gun's on safe. Here we go. Got our World War I shovel here. Oh, Rick, I'm sorry. Your beautiful work. That's not enough. All right, that's pretty much that side covered. Let's turn it over. One of the things very interesting about the FG42 is it has a system here that actually defeats recoil because there's a spring load in the buffer of the stock. There's a buffer here, and this cycles as well. So I want to make sure I get some near the stock, down into the mag well, here on the trigger guard. Pretty much standard in-range kind of mud fare. So let's go ahead and make sure we got that good. I think we, well, let's get up here too. All right, guys. Uh, one little shake. All right, off safe. Here we go. Wow. Um, okay. Let's mud it again. Getting it into every all the little open bits. One more shake. Another five rounds. Is this going to pass? Is the FG42 reproduction going to pass? One more dunk. Let's really get it on there. Pack it in there. What do you think? All right. I packed it in there. We got five more rounds to go. Not even going to shake it this time. Oh, finally did it. What do we got? Not quite cycling. Let's go ahead and just rack it. Something feels funny. Pull the mag out. We got run round. That's. All right, we're stuck. I'm going to mortar it. All right. One round fell out. We've got one round left in this magazine. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, God. Looks okay. Here we go. Nope, we're out of battery. It did chamber the round. That's it, we're done. However, we got through 18 rounds in a reproduction FG42 chambered in 308 with modified M1A mags using G3 followers. Uh, Rick Smith is a wizard at SMG Guns and I can't wait to see what he's gonna do with this gun when I get it back. Man, guys, if you're interested in a reproduction FG42, can't recommend that highly enough and I'm astonished 
by this result. If you like this kind of content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. The ammunition you saw today and my willingness to do this to this kind of gun is because of you, the supporter. If you can't do it, understand, please subscribe to one of our channels. You can find them all at inrange.tv. Share with your friends. Thanks a lot.